In preparation for all of mine and Bentley's upcoming hiking and camping adventures, today's video is how I'm teaching Bentley and Stella and how you can teach your dog how to go camping. I grew up with lots of different dogs, and so the biggest thing to remember is that all dogs are different. They learn at different speeds and are sometimes uncomfortable doing something that other dogs seem to enjoy. Take Ben. He loves the water, cannot get enough of it, can't keep him out of it. Stella is so scared and timid of water that if we didn't work with her on a regular basis, using lots of positive reinforcement, she would probably never get used to it. To make teaching your dog to camp that much easier on them and yourself, I highly recommend that the first time you take your dog camping that you do it in your backyard. That will put them in a place that they know and are comfortable being around. And in a worst case scenario, if they're just not ready to go camping yet, you can always go inside. Much better than having to pack up your campsite in the middle of the woods because your dog can't quite settle down. I set up the tent right there with me so that the dogs could smell everything while I was setting it up and start getting used to the tent being there. I let them go inside and explore and while that let in dozens of tiny bugs, it let them get comfortable around the tent. Before you jump on in that tent for bed though, make sure that you take your dog on a longer walk that day, either earlier in the day or before you're getting ready for bed, it doesn't matter. Just make sure they're more tired than normal. You want them tired out so that it's easier for them to sleep. Remember, the goal here is to get through the night so that they see that it's not that scary being out in a weird place. Since I had both dogs for this trip, I used our two-person tent so that we would have plenty of room. In the future, Ben and I will be staying in a small single-person tent and we'll be snuggled up together. I'll be working with him in that tent in another video. Dogs thrive on familiarity, so bring some treats and their favorite toy to help get them settled down before bed. I gave these guys some pig ears to help get them settled down for bed, and that worked really well. One of the biggest problems you may have with camping with a dog in your tent is that they are extremely concerned with everything that is going on outside the tent. Things that they can't quite see, but they can definitely hear. This can lead to barking, pacing, and unfortunately for my tent, it led to jumping on the walls to try and see out the windows, which caused a couple holes in the netting. This is a part of the learning process for them. Calm your dog and be patient. They are in a strange new place trying to sleep somewhere that they're not used to. Don't get angry at them, definitely don't yell at them. That would only take an uncomfortable situation and make it a lot worse. Bentley likes belly rubs, so to get him to calm down, I just had to rub his belly a ton and eventually he fell asleep. Still, it was a little harder to work with. She just really wanted to see outside, so I just rolled over onto my side so that she could stand on my hips and look out the window. Eventually, she got tired of standing and laid down. Once these guys were asleep, we were all set. Well, except that I was sick, and I'm still sick, and so every hour or so, I would wake up to cough. In preparation for the morning, I had set the dog leads right outside of the tent door so I could hook them up onto their dog run as soon as I opened the tent. If you have a fence in the backyard, you don't have to worry about that, but it is something to keep in mind in the future when you take your dog camping with you to have a lead hooked up around a tree nearby so that you can let them out immediately. One last useful tip for your dogs while camping, feed them appropriately. My dogs are on a tight feeding schedule, but I stuck to that schedule while camping to not throw them off. And when we go out next time, we're gonna be doing a bit of hiking, so I'm gonna need to bring extra food to replace those calories that they'll lose on the hike. That's really only important if you're going out for longer than you normally do. All right, that was Ben and Stella's first camping trip. They did really well on it. I'm pretty surprised. I actually thought that one of them was gonna barrel the tent over with how much energy they have. I hope you got some good information out of this. Ben and I are gonna be doing this again in our small single tent. The first night will be in the backyard, but the second night will be out on the trail, his first night on the trail. So to not miss that video, definitely subscribe. All right, I'll see you all next time, and don't forget to reapply your sunscreen.